again welcome back to my channel today we're going to take a look at the precious gems oracle by Maxine Gad G-A-D-D -D, I'm assuming that's how you pronounce it it's in a hard case box it's uh, published by Blue Angel oops sorry for the glare so that's here's the back of the box and it's a two-part box with a thumb hole that you can open up. Inside is a very nice, pretty periwinkle, purplish, bluish interior. Guidebook is on top. Cards underneath, so very nice. Pretty color interior of the box. And I believe this was just released this year, 2019. Here's the guidebook. Again, published by Blue Angel, as I mentioned. The back cover is a photo of Maxine. And it talks a little bit about her. The front. Copyright 2019 has the table of contents, introduction, how to use this deck, the illustration, the messages, card spreads, solitary daily card. So there's some sample spreads spreads in here, the baguette spread, the diamond spread, card messages. So there are pictures of each card. It's in black and white. So for example, there's the name of the card, keyword, a little uh, paragraph, and then more about the description of the card divinatory meaning and then there's also an affirmation on each card so it's nice okay so that's the guidebook and then these are the back of the cards beautiful beautiful colors they are reversible but most people don't really read oracle cards reverse that I know of, at least I don't, and the, the size are not gilded. Um, it's smooth, like kind of buttery, soft, smooth texture. It's flexible. And let's see, as far as card size, it's bigger than the traditional Hay House um, Angel Oracle cards. So it's taller, and then it's also wider. So taller by about an inch, approximately this much, and then wider. Okay. There. This much, and then this much. So let's go ahead and take a look at the card. They're in alphabetical order. And I believe there are 40 cards, if I remember correctly. 40 precious stones, yes, 40 cards total. And then I wanna zoom in, let me zoom in. So this is first card's abalone shell, and there is a so there's the name of the stone or the shell in this case, and then there is a one word description keyword underneath calmness, and then there is a number, the number of the card up top. So number one, 
abalone shell keyword is calmness. Number two, Alexandrite, good fortune. Number three, Amethyst, sobriety. Okay, so the, the gemstone is around the border. So they each have the face of the gemstone and then the gemstone itself around the border. It looks like the face has the, some a little bit of the color of the gemstone, like purple here. So angel aura. So here's the stones around the border and then the face has, oh, and she's wearing the earrings of the stone. Okay, so the jewels, I see, the jewels are the stone. So right here is the jewels. See, the, ju the jewels she's wearing is of the stones. Like this is amethyst and then the stones around the border. So that's, and then the makeup coincide with the color of the gemstones, what it looks like. This is sort of like a first impression because I haven't really looked at this deck. It just came in yesterday, I believe. Aquamarine, Clarity, and... I'm sorry, I can't read upside down. Clarity and Compromise. So Aquamarine, so once again, the stones are around the border, which you can't really hardly see, but it's enough, I guess. I wish you can see it a little bit more. I wish they made this black um a little thinner so that way you can see a little bit more of the stone instead of just this trim right here I wish the th trim was thicker so you can see the stone better and then I guess she's wearing the gemstone so you can see the gemstone all around all right card number six is oh I don't I'm not familiar with the stone Atlantisite Emotional purity, Atlantis, At Atlantisite. That's interesting. It looks like a green, a green stone. It looks like a green stone with a little bit of ruby in it from her head, headdress here. Bloodstone protection. Wow, it's all red. Check out her eyes. It's like red. All right. right wait, born night is born night, joyfulness. Born night. So yeah, you can see the stones here clearly and again around the border. Chalcedony, conversion. Dalmatian stone, inner child. And you can see why it's called Dalmatian stone because it's black and white, just like the dog Dalmatian. Diamond illumination. I think I'm going to pull you guys out a little bit so that you can see as I hold it up. Emerald, successful love. Wow, check out the green eyeshadow. <laughs> Fool's gold, protective armor. Wow. Garnet, passion. Card number 14. Green Jade. 
meaningful dreams. Imperial Topaz, generosity. Labradorite, Serendipity, Lapis Azuli, Self-Knowledge, Malachite, Transformation, card number 19. You can see the Malachite stone right there clearly. Moonstone, Rhythms. Orange Agate, Vibrancy. Pearl, card number 22, Nurture. Peridot, Rejuvenation, it's card number 23. You can really feel that. I feel the, the energy of the Peridot from this card, like it stands out. Maybe it's the color. Even around the border, like it illuminates. That's the first one that real I felt that way on. Card number twenty four, Picasso, Jasper, Nature. Twenty five, Picture Jasper, Artistry. Twenty six red coral fruitfulness. I think there is energy of the stone. Well, a certain stone. I felt it with the peridot, I feel it with this coral. I have to work with it more. So this is just first impression. So you do get a feel for the energy of the stone, it appears. Rose, quartz, love, and compassion. Like with the borders and then the, the main stone here and then the colors of the stone overall in the makeup of the face. Rose, zircon. I'm sorry, rose, zircon, integrity, card number 28. Ruby, self-actualization, card number 29. Sapphire Insight, card number 30, very blue. Wow, that eye makeup is wild. Card number 31, C, Opal, Ying, and Yang. Of the earrings. Wow. That really shows the stone and that earring. 32. Snowflake Obsidian Transparency. Star Sapphire Peace. Card number 33. 34 is Sujolite, Kindred Spirits. Wow, I like the feel of this card. But then again, I love purple. So, but I don't necessarily like her face, though. 
but I, I do like the feel of the stone. But these purple eyes. <laughs> Ugh. All right. Card number 35 is Tiger's Eyes Stability. Thirty six turquoise friendship. This is another one where I can feel the energy of the stone from the card. Wow, that's cool. Thirty seven is Unikite growing together. I love this stone. I went through a phase where I really like this stone. I had this stone for a while on me years back. But I, I like the stone. I like the feel of the stone. Unikite. Card number 38. Vermarine. A bridge. I'm not familiar with, with this stone. Vermarine. I guess it's a green stone. Pretty interesting. We'll have to look it up to see what this is for. Card number 39. Yellow Jasper learning. Wow, check out her yellow eyes. Can you imagine having jewelry earrings for each stone like this? And then a, uh, a crown with these stones. So depending on what you need, you will put on your crown and your earrings. That's wild. And fi uh, finally, uh, last but not least, card number 40 is Zebra Jasper engagement so back from the cars again jewels very nice all right so oh they're flexible they're bendable so they're large but they're bendable so I can bend them so I can bend them easily so Normally, if they were hard, I wouldn't be able to put my petite hands around. Oops. But because they're so bendable, I'm able to bend them enough so that... Yep, they riffle shuffle. One more time while I get the hang of this here. Hold on. Yep, they riffle shuffle. They shuffle overhand, of course. It's a little, it's a little wide for petite hands, so I would probably sh shuffle this vertical way. And definitely, you can shuffle also this way as well, vertically. Get the cards all mixed up. Clear the cards. Spirit guides, angels. Senate Masters, Stones, Stone Keepers, Spirit of the Stones. Can we get a message? Let's see if we can get a message. All right. Unikite. Wow, growing together. Card number 37. That's amazing. <laughs> That's the stone that I said I had like. It jumped out. All right, so let's see what the um, guidebook says here. Just to get a feel for the guidebook. Unikite, growing together. Compassion and growth unite and are strengthened. Love is not absorbed into progress. Advancement does not trump the need for care. Side by side, they work in balance for a greater good. Even love can advance, grow, and embrace deeper treasures by aligning with progress. Growing together isn't a loss of individuality, but a means to deeper knowledge of who you are. In Unikite, we have granite composed of pink felspar, green epido, green epido, epidolite, wait, green epidote and clear quartz in a beautiful combination of olive green and salmon pink. Unikite is often found as pebbles on the beach or around lake shores. 
It resonates with the heart chakra, the zodiac sign of Scorpio and the elements of fire and water. As this gemstone is comprised mostly of two minerals, it has dual properties. The green represents nature and balance, and the pink denotes love and compassion. One of the key components of Unikite is epidote, a mineral whose name is derived from the Greek for growing together. This crystal gently and lovingly helps relationships re between those who do not always see eye to eye. Unikite is useful in the workplace or where there is a personality clash. This card offers the gifts of compromise and integration. It can help us put difference aside, differences aside so we can work toward a greater cause. Divinatory meaning, a respectful partnership, a joint cause pairs you with a rival or difficult personality, asserting your needs and acknowledging the needs of others. Acting out of diligence or duty leads to a surprising self-revelation. Affirmation. I am balanced. I am loving and compassionate. I am willing to work with others even when we differ. I know how to compromise. Wow, that's a good message for us all. Working together, learning how to compromise, balance. Unikite. Unikite. And that's the stone right there. Salmon and olive green. All right. So that wraps up the first impression, review, flip through of this deck. Oh, let's zoom back out the wrong way. There you go. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you next time. Bye.